Okay, so this is a test stream. Well, I say test stream, it's not really a test. Well, it is of uh, Frostgrim Hollow um, on Hammett's Dungeon Pack, which is just been updated to 2.11. I think that's correct. I got it mixed up earlier today with um, Vormenheim, which has just been updated to 2.13 and is soon to be updated to 2.14. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it is 2.11 that we're working with, um, for Hamit's Dungeon Pack now. Um, I'm doing this, um, but having just installed it, um, I don't really know about Tools of, uh, Tools of Kagramas. I think that's the name of the mod that caused an issue with the entrance of, of the dungeon. And so I've installed that mod, Tools of Kagramas, and I'm just going to see what it looks like. I don't know anything about that mod whatsoever. I just installed it to see if there's a conflict um, with the, with Frostgrim Hollow. So Zell's just outside her house, ready to go um, down to Frostgrim, which is somewhere near Stendar's Beacon, I think. Somewhere in the south. It's somewhere around here. Um, as far as I recall. Um, now, I could I could go the easy way because Hammett's given me the coordinates. Well, not the coordinates, but the um, console commands to go straight there. But I'm going to go straight to Stendhal's Beacon. Um, out of, just from my own personal curiosity. And check it out. I, like I said, I don't know why... Tools of uh, Kagramas provides a... That's got to be it there, surely. Doesn't need her torch anymore. Um, provides a conflict, but I suppose we're about to find out. I'm not one for lengthy intros these days. So let's find out what's going on. Um, now, a lot of people... Whoops. It's actually a lie. I was about to say, a lot of people are asking me, well, I'm starting streaming again. That's not true. About three have. Um, and the answer is, maybe this week. Maybe next week. Um, now, this is some kind of... Looks like an eyelid ruin. This, this is obviously something to do with Tools of Kokomis. I, I don't know what it is. This is not... This is not the work of, of Bench, Hamid. But it's obviously something that uh, gets in the way of a bear. I'm going to leave the elk. Go away, you. Um, now... You can see, well, that's obviously got to be it there, I would have thought. It's been moved a long way up the mountain here. Um, it's a little tricky to get to. Why don't we try and do it in the time-honored manual way? See how it goes. Now... This shouldn't be too hard to get to. One of the... I fucking hate bears so much. One of the things that I have... Um, resolved... I don't know if that's the right word. To do is... Stream a lot more of Hammett's stuff. Um, Hammett's got a lot of updates that are coming up. Not least... I don't know if I'm going the right way here. Not least... Uh, Veilfrost. Now, Veilfrost is... I think quite a bit of a way off being complete. I would uh, guess at this point... Can we go this way? I think we can. I would guess at this point in time that Veilfrost will probably be released... Whew, some point in the summer? Where are we? May. Mm. At this rate, I'd say early autumn at a guess. So, okay... This is 
Okay, so this is the main normal entrance to Frostgrim. Um, and apparently there's another one as well. This has got to be COC Frostgrim next. Let me just check it out. It's probably going to take me to exactly the same place. But I have to check. Frostgrim next. Oh, is that incorrect? Frostgrim, COC. Maybe it's... Uh... Hmm. Okay. COC Frostgrim next. Or, oh, Frostgrim exterior. Sorry, excuse me. I'll teach me to... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so that's correct. Frostgrim X, sorry, not next. Um, I want to know where this cave is. So let's try that as well. COC Frostgrim Cave. I hope I've done it right this time. Frostgrim Cave. Okay. So now. There's this, I'm not sure if, it, if this is what Hammett was thinking of, but hopefully it helps. So, I, th I think this is probably what he wanted. It's been converted to a cave, I think, maybe. So the entrance to the new place sits in there perfectly. When I say the new place, I mean Tools of Kagamos, right? We could always just cheat and unlock that door using um, unlock in the console commands. But we're not going to do that. Um, I wouldn't even call Zella beta tester in this mod because, you know, it's gone. Oh, look, there's another fucking bear. This is one of the things you've got to hate about the Rift, man. I'm not a big fan of the Rift at all. <laughs> My most hated, hated um, hold... And, uh, and one of the reasons is the amount of bears you get. Now, you know, we're here. May as well play it through. Um, settings, I want to be an expert at least, which we are. Can I remember Frostgrim that well? Hmm. She's going to need a couple of axes here. She only got one on her. <laughs> she only got one axe. Oh no, she does. She does. She does have two. I mean, she'd be fine with one. I'd like to think. But you know, just in case. I wonder if I should do this on. Uh Slightly harder difficulty, probably not. I tend to find that, uh, or think, that uh, expert difficulty is like the main one. I'm going to give her one axe for now because I think she's going to be okay. Turn my phone over, it's making some kind of flashing indicator, which is distracting me. Just gonna move my phone over there actually. Um Okay. Let's go inside and check it out because you know I should probably play it properly rather than uh just look at the exterior. Though I have to say that this is probably gonna be something of a speed run. I say that. I'm not the greatest speedrunner. I do half speedruns. <laughs> Relax speedruns. Um, because I like to do dungeons these days, anyway. Relatively quickly. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, this starts off with all the mages. I don't know what she's wearing around her neck either. They've got a lot of frost mages here and it's quite something. Um, because she's got 
she tends to rely on uh, enchantments for protection against frost magic. You know, being a red guard, she doesn't have any natural protection in her race um, against frost. Not like Nords do, you know, because Nords have got like 50%. This is actually one of the hardest parts whoops, of, uh, of this dungeon. She's absolutely frozen solid now. Can't move at all. So, I don't know what she's wearing. Oh, she's, she's wearing something which um, increases one-handed. We want something better than that. That'll do it. That's that's definitely gonna help. She got one one behind her somewhere. I've heard that so many times before. I'll end your miserable life, thwack. <laughs> then they get cut down with like one or two axe strikes. Okay, I think that's actually a really tricky beginning of this dungeon. It's it's very easy to die loads um, in the start of this one. I'm just going to have some Guinness. That's how casual I am at the moment. Um, and Hammett has been... Whoops, I'm not going to go there. It's a trap. Um, Hammett has been making an awful lot of changes. Um, he's being super, super, super productive at the moment. Oh, this guy's tricky. Oh, wow, look how much he... Um, I, was, I was about to say, look how much he um, healed himself, but... Elite Necromancer Hood. I haven't seen something like this before. Where do these come from? I haven't seen anything like that before. I'm going to leave it though for now. Because this is like a... Um, how should I say? This was, this was taken from a test safe. Actually, I'm going to close this door. Oh, she lost her torch. Because there was another one that I didn't go down. Which was over here. No, 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 it wasn't that one. And it wasn't this one either. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to guess that that's like a mini treasure room. This was the other door I didn't go through. Oh, oh, fine. We can't go through that anyway. That's absolutely fine. I'm not bothered about that. So there are a lot of things coming up in the Hammett verse. Um, Vomenheim is getting more and more updates. Um, there's something else that Hammett is planning for Vomenheim, which I don't think I can talk about yet. But something else interesting coming up there, um, which is new. Um, we've got Veil Frost. We've got all the updates to the Hammett's Dungeon Packs. Wow, it's got so much stuff happening. I should really have put, like, both axes here in her, in the um, quick menu, quick launch. Snake, hawk, whale. I knew that that was going to cause trouble. She's still got um, her necklace of warmth on. So that would sort out any of the frost mages, but there were one or two um, 
shock mages there, which I think have been dispensed with now. Um, by the way, the armor that she's wearing. I get told off sometimes for calling it an outfit. <laughs> it's an outfit. Um, <laughs> is is made by... Oh, God, i got to get it right. I th I'm pretty sure it's Deserter X. I'm pretty sure it's a druid armor by Deserter X, and this is obviously the leopard version. It's not the default version. The default version is... Something which is a bit more kind of, um, like, it, it's sort of brown and green, sort of leafy, foresty for white girls, if you know what I mean, right? Um, whereas this is Lebedee, uh, Lepidy works better on black girls. Of course, anyone can wear anything they want to wear, but this thing works better with her kind of skin tone, right? If you're a red guard, this kind of outfit's going to look a lot better on you just how it is. Sorry, it's just the truth. Uh, black girls look way better in leopard stuff, to my opinion. Okay. Um, now, have I done everything that I was supposed to do here? I think so. I think that was probably the main thingy. But there was a key that was needed, surely, to open that other door. In the strong box, maybe. I don't have my cursor enabled. So that's going to cause a problem. Well, a minimal problem, not a massive one. So hopefully this is be an easy way. I, I am going to open this other door here just because, just out of a little bit of curiosity. But it's going to be like a little a mini chest thingy. Yeah, as I thought. I don't know why I'm taking those because, like I said, this is a test save. This isn't sort of forming part of my main save. But you know, it feels good to take these kinds of things. Just for a moment, I thought, why don't we go with the old spell sword route? She was the spell sword from level. Whew. How long was she a spell sword for? She was a spell sword from like level 80 to level 100 and ouch, level 120 or something like that. And then she went all dual wield. I forgot that I made her. Armor, legendary. Again. For like the f fucking 17th time. And that's not an exaggeration. I think it is the 17th time. That's one of the ways in which I was able to level her up so effectively. Passive leveling through uh, light armor. Some people always say, well, it's not passive. I think it is. <sighs> Snake. Hawk whale, right? Crossgrim chasm. Oh, 
people being stupidly loud outside. I seem to remember this. I seem to remember this. There's a, there's a door. I don't know how I remember this. There's a door here which takes you down. I'm not going to do that now. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Maybe it's not that easy. Maybe I do need to go down. Was there something else somewhere? I would hope that this would be a relatively easy thing to do. I was expecting a strong box. And this is the door that takes you up there. Ah, maybe it's in here. Yes, it is. Because so I've gone in reverse here. It's a nice little chest here. Let's check it out. Draug a champion. Let's see about that, shall we? I could have looted him, but never mind. The clutter situation here is really nicely done, I have to say. Oh, well, this is actually quite interesting, because this is the only way you can approach this section anyway. A slight snag, though, which is the fact that this is closed. Because it was raised by taking the book off. Now, I don't know if I'm doing anything daft here. Or if the only way to go back down is to go back down. And then go back out. Wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened. Now normally I'd be looking for a pulley around here somewhere. But I can't see anything like that. Or a handle on the other side of here, maybe? Nope. That's also a, a trope. Hiding a little handle on the other side of a plinth. I have a feeling that the only way to do this is go is to go back. I might be wrong. So this will take us back out, and now we go back up and round. Using a lot of slaughter fish. Using a mod called something about water. <laughs> um, what's the mod called for water? I can't remember what the mod's called. It's a mod to make water look better. I'm sorry, that's absolutely useless and not useful, not helpful information at all. But if you want your mod, your water to look better, use a water mod. Not that it looks bad anyway, but what it does do is sort out those jagged lines at the edge. And yes, sometimes the modder can sort those 
out as well. But it does help um, to have the mod if you want. Now, when she takes this off, isn't all hell going to break loose? She's, all, she's only got one axe, remember, at this point. I'll give her two just for fun. I want to see what it's like. Obviously, she's going to lose her light from the torch. I just wanted to see what there was to loot here. Glass sword of lightning. Hello, you. He's got the paralysis. I was waiting for that. Oh. Let's get let's get rid of him. Because those immobilizing weapons are horrid. Now, I get the feeling that we're, A, coming near the end, but B, also that the end isn't going to be that easy. I just have that feeling. I just have that feeling that the end is not going to be that easy. Of course, I can't. Remember all of the Hammett stuff. And I'm not sure that even Hammett can remember all of the Hammett's details of his dungeons. I'm going to actually do this in a slightly different way. I'm going to do this with Candlelight Spell because... Since I'm streaming this... It's going to be better. For those watching. Okay. That said... Eagle above it, or hawk. Ah, no. That's going to be very useful. I have to say, this has taken more time than I thought it would. I'm not complaining. Um, but I'm quite interested that it has done. Gonna have some more Guinness. That's Nigerian Guinness, by the way. Not the Irish stuff. Nigerian Guinness, very strong. Overlord Avaldmir and his rangers. Looks like it's a nicely written book, this one. There can be a lot of trouble here. Okay, so... At this moment, where we, she needs to up her game a little bit. Her light armor is low, like I say, because it was made legendary.
I do recognise this bit. I didn't mean to give her a shield there. Um, so what's in the claw? What's in the box? Moth, owl, wolf, looks like to me. That's got to be it, I would have thought. Oh, sugar. <laughs> this is the problem with not having a... um. No, this is the problem with not having a cursor. Okay, no excuses for getting it wrong this time. Because it's taken about half an hour so far. The clock in the top left that says 2023, that's my local time. 7.58 is the game time. There's another one here as well, look. I haven't even saved. Anywhere. You never know. Might be necessary. Let's give her let's give her to Overlord Avildmir. Okay. You know what? I actually remember this. I remember this because um, the first time I did this or one of the first times I did this, it took me so many goes and it took me a long, 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 long time as well. I, I remember the first time I did this, standing on this ledge, specifically this ledge, for a very long time. Um, I'm not sure how I did it. Like, if I tried to do it with arrows, I think that's probably how I tried to do it. And the thing is, she's not even uh, using all the um, resources available to her. Because remember, she's got that necklace of uh, waning frost on. Which which now isn't very useful. She could have been wearing, normally wears, um, this. Which gives her 53% more damage in the one-handed attacks. Um, it's a nice weapon. So that would currently up the Ebony War Axes to maybe 300. I, I've managed to get them to 400 each through various enchant enchantments. No kind of cheating, messing around with that. It's just playing a very high leveled, no, not originally, just playing the same character for a very long amount of time. That's what it is. No special mods that give her any advantage. It's just her being my main character for nearly three years now. Next month it will be three years. Oh, there's another... Is this a way out, is it? 
be quite funny to be killed by a frost troll at this point. Um. Oops. Where does this go? This is like part of a sort of excavation thingy. Get a chest though. Atronarch Forge recipe. Take a look at that quickly. Okay. Atronarch Forge recipe. Hmm. Maybe Hamet can elaborate a little bit more. Um. That's about it, really. There are lots of little hidden details in the mods, and I don't always pick them up. I'm I'm not great at a picking up some hidden details and b <laughs> getting lost. I get lost quite a lot sometimes, quite a lot sometimes. You see, that's an oxymoron. So that's it. Um, either way, we're out, and um, that took about half an hour, I would say. Um. And hopefully that was useful uh, in some way with regard to the relocation of the entrances. And hopefully it was entertaining in some way for people who like high-level dungeons. Um, I will be streaming again this week or next week with more Hammett stuff. Um, that's just what I'm going to focus on at the moment in streams. Not much more. Um... Maybe with regard to different games, maybe I'll do some Tekken. Uh, maybe some Mortal Kombat. Quake may take a back seat. Um, for now, I've got slightly disillusioned with Quake of late. Um, Skyrim, of course, going to take centre stage. So, that's all for now. Thank you very much. I'll be uploading this. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone.